G'day guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. A pretty uh, productive week at the moment for a lot of long-term things. So I've uh, been filming bits and pieces that'll be coming out in a few weeks, in a few months sort of stuff. I was working on um, my music, which obviously isn't gonna come out for a little while. I think that's what we decided. I was initially gonna pull the trigger and release the newest song in the next couple of weeks. But after your guys' feedback and um, just asking a couple of mates and, and people that I really trust their opinion of, they said, look, let's be honest, let's just leave it for a little bit and um, probably release the whole EP as a bit of a package. So um, that's what we're gonna do, but I am a massive fan of that song. We recorded the vocals this week and it is sounding pretty schmicko. But with that song done, um, I've got another one on the go. <laughs> oh, if Corona didn't happen, I would have had a three to four-ish song EP come out, probably now. But since Corona's happened, there's potentially eight songs, <laughs> eight new songs coming out um, in a couple of months. So it's now pushing album territory rather than just EP, which is pretty funny. But yeah, I've got a new song. I've got a great concept once again, very poppy. Um, we don't really have a pop song, pop song on the album. And yeah, I'm well aware that the smart thing to do for a football album is probably write an Aussie rock type song. Very Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. And as much as I love all genres of music, I'll, I'm just a pop boy. I love pop. I love pop. And I love when, um, yeah, when pop, when pop's written right, I'm a big fan. And I think the vibe of this concept is bang on for a pop song. So... That's what I'm doing today. It's yet to be written yet, but it's called Actually, I'm gonna beat that, because oh, that'll just give away the concept. And someone will probably write a better song about that concept before I can release this. So I've just beeped that, you didn't hear it. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and then we're gonna FaceTime Jakey and just have a chat about where we're at with the potential EP album. <laughs> Just doing the thumbnail for AFL Evolution. Well, you would have seen it by now. We snuck into finals by beating the D's in the second last round by one point. Top of the table. Gutsy win. We get absolutely rolled by the Saints the next game. That doesn't matter because the Tigers don't get over the line and they don't kick us out of eight. So me and Cookson are in finals. But yeah, just making the thummy and we'll be up today. I got a haircut last week and I feel like it's grown back quickly. But the beard has to go. I'm not a fan of the beard. It goes a bit gingery at the front. But um, I'll trim the beard today at some point if I could be bothered. Um, just about to have some oats and uh, honey and cinnamon. Bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon crunch. Generous serving of cinnamon. Bit of honey. Now I'm a big honey man so I just coat it in it. And it makes it taste like a I don't know, it's sort of like sticky date sort of crumble type dish. These are just quick oats that like, you know, in two minutes they're, they're right. But my girlfriend um, makes overnight oats. I have never heard, like until she mentioned that, I'd never heard of overnight oats in my life. And I was like, what do you mean? Like I wake up, pour my porridge, <laughs> put a bit of hot water and it's done. She was like, oh nah, um, for the porridge to, I don't know, cook or what, what, what does the overnight part do? But for the porridge to become porridgey, you've got to do it overnight. And I was like, I've never heard of that. I just, <laughs> you know, I just wake up, make my oats and <laughs> they're fine. Like, what do you mean you make your porridge overnight? Just filmed a video with the Isaac show. Link in description if it's out yet. I was hungry for a warm filling meal. I usually skip lunch, but I was just craving something warm and filling, so zapped a bit of pasta. Oh, Saturday Arvo, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen the boys, and now that you can get five people around and catch up. Um, Rog is coming down from Melbourne. We were just gonna have a little catch up, some FIFA, a couple of bottles of red, and um, you know, listen to the 1975, have a bit of a, an Arvo with each other. That sounds a little bit homoerotic. But then, yeah, one of my good mates, Al, uh, hit us up and said, if you boys are keen, he's got a bit of a property very close to my house. So um, I said, well, I'm with Rog, if, you, if it's all good if he comes over. So I think a couple of us 
are heading over to Al's to sink some bevs. I haven't done this in a long, long time. It's a big property, bonfire type stuff, so there'll be no COVID being passed around, but um, yeah, I, I just, I looked outside and I thought, it's a day for it. It is a bloody day and a half for it. So it's 3 p.m. in the Arvo, head over, bonfire, snacks, bevs, food with the boys, and uh, potentially some fever with Rog when he comes, um, yeah, when we come home later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so boy. Right. How are we? Get How up are you, it. mate? Sun's out, smiles on. Let's get into it. Oh, I'd love to go to Paris again and again. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop being an asshole and counting my eye rolls. I don't Apparently, early hours of the afternoon. <laughs> uh, uh, and we're just about to play <laughs> many minutes of EA Sports. It's in the game. It's 1.53 at the moment. Yep. And the score of favour will be 1.54. Well, I'm going to put you away. I'm going to put you away something no, clinic. No, cool. No, no, We've got food coming soon though. I I bet yet whoever loses that fever has to shout the KCAF. 100%. 100% that's done unless, we'll, unless, unless you win in which case we go Harvey's we'll go Harvey's yeah. right, done. so Great I'm deal. fighting for Harvey's correct yep oh look your favourite band couple of wines what are you doing with herpes cream when did you get that oh I got that recently mate you need it no no no, no don't I'm, I'm vlogging don't say oh, that oh sorry I didn't realise don't, okay. don't, don't say that Chips and gravy. Guess for something different with all we listen to the 1975. Just to mix it up a little a bit. Change of pace. They do a great chip and gravy. Alright oh, like guys, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm a little hungover, to be frank, so um, I think there's only one thing to do and that is to head down to the colonel. I'm trying to get there a little bit earlier before the peak hour dinner time rush so I'm gonna go up 5 30 get some kernel I'm gonna shout dad some kernel he always talks about how he wants KFC all the time so we'll get him some Kentucky fried and um, maybe a bit of pro clubs or something with the boys tonight but been a bit cheeky had a bit of pizza some chips and gravy and now some kernel so a bit of a dirty weekend on the uh, on the diet not that I want a diet but just the diet in general so um, yeah no regrets though no regrets i do feel a little bit inspired to make some videos at the moment and i don't know don't know how long that'll last because um i think i said that a little while ago i had a, a pretty good week creatively and then just played pro clubs and afl evolution the next week so i don't want to count count the chickens before they hatch but right now i feel you know i'm really excited to whip up this weekly vlog i'm really excited to do the potty um, got some more AFL Evolution to film and then I've got a couple of ideas that have come into my head that I feel like filming so you know don't want to go the early crow but is he back is he back ladies and gents time will tell time will tell but I, I've been feeling pretty good this week like a couple of weeks ago I was pretty flattened by um, the ISO and the COVID and the, uh, the the Rona I was like this sucks I want to do great things in the niche YouTube football space. <laughs> I want to do some great things, but um, and then there was a couple of weeks where I sort of accepted it and thought, well, there's no point fighting against what it is. Like, you, you know, we've had this chat, but yeah, you know, accept it for what it was. And now that the, the date is back, you know, in a month's time, there's potentially going to be footy. I can do my Friday night live streams. I'll be, the buzz of footy will be back. Um, maybe that's what's pet me up a little bit. I'm not sure, but Anyway, I'm pumped. You should be pumped. Let's get it going, boys. Just arriving to KFC. Surely there's not a line. Oh, there's a massive line. That just rips your heart out. Oh, man. I just pulled out of the queue, so I'm going inside to line up because that line was very, very long in the drive through if this doesn't cure a hangover, I don't know what will. The line for the drive-thru just just exploded, so 
I'm pretty happy with my decision to go inside, but let's get home and rip in. Oh my God, I'm starving. All right, guys, that's it for another weekly vlog. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone getting around it, uh, getting around the bit, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.